Here, you'll find the goblin shark, a creature that's been around for 125 million years. A thousand meters deeper is the colossal squid, which is the largest known squid species. If you go way, way deeper to 3,800 meters, you'll find the wreckage of the Titanic, which sank over 100 years ago. 200 meters below this is the abyssal zone. The freezing temperature and extreme pressure make it insanely hard for most creatures to survive. Here, you'll find much scarier creatures like the anglerfish, fangtooth, and megamouth shark. But 2,000 meters later, Later, you enter the Hadal Zone, a point so deep that it's named after Hades itself. And one of the reasons that this zone is so scary is that we don't know what the hell is down here. More people have been to the moon than have been to the Hadal Zone. These environments are so unexplored that almost every expedition here uncovers new creatures. At 8,848 meters, we reach the height of Mount Everest if it was submerged underwater, and there's still plenty to go. At 10,916 meters, we are at the deepest point that humans have ever gone. Two men named Don Walsh and Jack Picard went to this point in 1960, but they had to return to the surface after a window cracked in their submarine. And 90 meters later, we reached the bottom of the ocean floor, known as Challenger Deep. While this seems like the deepest point, it's extremely likely that the ocean goes deeper in a place that we're unaware of. And that's because only 5% of the ocean has been explored. So while the deep ocean animals seem scary, think about what other creatures are lurking around on our planet that we're just unaware of. And now you know 